Hey everyone, it's Mark Expect the Comics, and I'm back. So I uh, went to go do some hunting uh, today. I went to one of the local flea markets that I hadn't been to in quite a long time uh, since I was a kid. Um, if you want to check out some of the books I found, stick around. So, um... I had a little neat thing I came up with this weekend. I wanted to reach out to some of my uh, local YouTube comic community uh, creators in the area. And basically, you know, since the whole COVID thing, you know, conventions are closed and a lot of LCSs are still closed, I figured, you know, here in the area, if um, some of the people wanted to meet up this weekend, do some hunting, I, you know, reached out to a bunch of them and, um, I got two of them to come out, so uh, I met up with Rayman, Rayman the Silencer this this morning, and uh, Los, Carlos, um, great community members, um, they were very down to come out and uh, do some comic hunting, so we met up there at the uh, Rainham Flea Market, like I said, I hadn't been there since I was a kid, so um, a lot has changed, they had some um, vendors outdoors, and the regular vendors indoors. Um, we got there at seven o'clock in the morning, right when they opened up. And I meant to do some recording on, uh, I brought my camera with me, but like when we went in there, everything was really dark. Um, a lot of the vendors still weren't open. So I was kind of like, all right, you know, we were walking around, we saw, you know, peeking through some of the vendors that were, you know, closed off, had the curtains and stuff like that. And you could see some of the areas that had a lot of good books. They had some wall books, they had some pops, back issues, a lot of short boxes, long boxes, etc. So we were hoping that some of these were going to be open nice and early. So that uh, we can get ahead of the game and uh, pick out some cool books. Um, but that wasn't the case. So I got a little frustrated. I was like, alright, screw this. I'm not doing any recording with my camera. <laughs> So uh, I waited, walked around some more, and around like 8, 8.30, finally some of the shops we were looking at started to open up, and we did some hunting. So um, it wasn't until we got to the last uh, like little shop there that the guy had some pretty good books. You know, dollar books, $2 books, 40% off Silver Age, etc. So I ended up picking up six books I only paid uh, seven bucks which is pretty pretty sweet and um, you know the guys also picked up a lot of books they picked up a lot more books uh, Carlos and Ray picked up a lot more books than I did but it's all right you know I pick what I like and um, they picked up a lot of good books so stay tuned to their channels and watch to see what they got as well I'll drop the uh, link down below and uh, another thing I wanted to point out if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. I did a, a quick little report, put that right up, up top. Uh, last 28 days, 78% of people who've watched my channels, my you know my shows, episodes, and whatnot, have not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Helps me out. I want to get to 500 subscribers so I can do another big giveaway. So once I get closer to the 450 mark, there'll be more details on that. So uh, go through your links. Check out Mark Spectre Comics. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because there is that time that YouTube sometimes they play tricks on you and uh, you find out that you're not subscribed to a channel that you've been watching regularly. So uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and uh, share the content. All right? Enough of that. You guys are here for the books. So uh, I'll show you the books that I picked up. Um, like I said, Got some great deals. He he was doing some deals on dollar books. If you picked up, um, I think it was six dollar, six like single dollar books, you get it for five bucks. So uh, that was pretty sweet. So I got uh, first book is um, good old Bronze Age. This is Masters of Kung Fu, issue number thirty eight. You see that was two dollars marked there. He uh, he marks them all in their little prices right on the top which was nice and some of them he actually graded in the back he's he said he was a pretty uh, tough grader which looking at some of the books I, I agree so uh, this was um, 
cool little book, and obviously with the uh, Shang-Chi movie coming out next year, some of these key books, you never know if they're going to be uh, appearing in the movie, so I like to see these characters in here. I'm going to re -bag and board all of these as well. So this is the uh, first appearance of the cat. Uh, don't know anything about the uh, character, but um, I'm going to have to start reading that series when I pick up those books. Um, the next one, another... Uh, Mar uh, Masters of Kung Fu. This is um, issue number 94. So you can see there it's marked two bucks. Um, this is the first appearance of Agent Sin. So um, another interesting character. This is towards the uh, end of the Masters of Kung Fu. I think it went to like, uh, I want to say 120 issues, 121 issues. So this is towards the end. And as you see, it's a 50 center. Um, next book, I was doing some browsing around the uh, Batman section in the uh, dollar bins, two dollar bins. And you know me, I'm always looking for those DC Universe labels. So uh, when I was at the uh, Grafton Flea Market with Ray a few weeks back, I was hunting for those uh, DC Universe labels and assorted titles between like Batman, Green Lantern, you name it. And I was able to find two that time. I found the... Um, Green Lantern, I think the issue was 50. It was the uh, really cool, uh, was it Kyle Rayner? Yeah, I think it was. His uh, first cover appearance or something like that. I'll, I'll drop the link down so you guys can watch it <laughs> if you haven't already. And then I found one of those early pre-packed um, DC Universe labels that um, were from a different vendor. It was like a Batman uh, Nightfall series. One of the early, early DC Universe. And I ended up giving that to Rayman. So that was pretty cool. So this issue is um, Batman issue number 509. I also picked this up for a dollar. As you can see. DC Universe label. And I've, uh, I've never seen this cover before. So uh, it's a nice little cover. There's I, nothing key about this from what I know. Um, but it has some like uh, Japanese scripture there on the side. It's a really interesting character I'm not familiar with, but uh, yeah, DC Universe label for a dollar. So you can find these books in the flea markets if you, you do some, do a little bit of digging. Um, next one was a very interesting book. Uh, I've seen this before, but I've never seen it in the wild. This is from the Ghost Rider, I think volume two. This is also a dollar book. This is uh, Ghost Rider issue number 40 and what is interesting about this is the book is I guess printed like the cover the back and the front are in black parchment paper so um, the texture is completely different than your traditional comic on both the front and back cover and you can see this really cool it's like this uh, dark trade there it says Ghost Rider Midnight Massacre um, it was a cool book for a dollar I'll, I'll pick these up all day a really cool book I've never seen before and it actually be if you like getting sketches this would be a cool book to get a sketch on um, the next one I've seen this quite a bit before but it's the first time I've had it in the PC this is from the same run uh, Ghost Rider issue number 44 and this is like one of those cool uh, glow in the dark covers Obviously, it's going to be tough in the light to see this. You can probably see a little bit of it in the camera. Um, but it has a cool, like, neon orange uh, trade, trade dress as well. So that was also for a dollar. And then the last book, um, I was a little surprised to see this in the, uh, in the back issue bins, especially for a dollar. Um, when I picked this up and I showed uh, Carlos, he was like, oh, man, this, is a, this was a good book. And, and for the price, obviously. I don't have too many um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books in the collection. I think this is my second one. The first one I had is the uh, TMMT Power Rangers number one, that recent crossover that just finished. So this is from uh, an older run. This is from, I think, 2011 from IDW's uh, TMMT uh, series by uh, Kevin Eastman. And this book has been picking up uh, quite a bit of steam lately, especially because of the character. You know, she's, uh, you may know her as the 
first female turtle. Um, you guys know who I'm talking about. This is issue number 51. This is the first appearance of Jenica that later on becomes the female turtle later on in the series. Really cool book. It's in gorgeous condition, probably like a 9698. Um, but I picked it up for a dollar. So that was cool. This was my big hit that I got there at the flea market. So, um, yeah, quick recap. So, Masters of Kung Fu, issue number 38. First appearance of the cat. Masters of Kung Fu, issue number 94, which is the first appearance of Agent Sin. Uh, this is a DC Universe label, Batman issue number 509. Really cool cover. Ghost Rider issue number 40, which is that nice black parchment cover. Same, same run, Ghost Rider number 44, that glow-in-the-dark cover. And, of course, TMNT issue number 51, first Jenica. So... That's it, guys. That's all I picked up at the uh, flea market today. Um, and then what I did for uh, Rayman and and Los, I ended up giving them a cool little uh, care package, like an AOK, -okay, just like a, a thanks for coming out, you know, hanging out with me, sharing some stories while we were at the flea market. Um, check out for their uh, videos on that. Hopefully they like the books. I just threw a bunch of like random books in there that I have in the PC. So uh, I love giving back to the community because they've been very grateful to me. So uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share the content. And uh, until next time, it's Mark Spectre Comics. Out.